talk to us a little bit about how you got into a and d photography and made that transition from real estate to more focused on architectural and design i i realized that a few years into shooting real estate that i really did start to appreciate the art and design of uh, residential properties i personally started to find out that what my approach to shooting these residential properties and what real estate photography was allowing me to do just weren't matching up and I, i'm a one-man show i did the shooting the editing the scheduling the accounts payable accounts receivable all that stuff as rapid fire and as fast paced as real estate photography is i started to get burnout as much as i love somewhat the chaos of life i like to take my time when it comes to the art and photography and things like that and real estate didn't nurture that so much but yet a and d photography did so in a and d photography clients typically don't hire you because of how fast you shoot interior designers not calling you because they say hey i heard you can shoot a living room in five minutes that just doesn't happen 